This video is going to continue with how to simplify logarithms. Um, so to recap, we learned that LOG um, just represents a logarithm, and it's simply a symbol to represent an exponent. So we left that off from the first video. So when you see LOG, this word right here, it means find the exponent. Okay, um, so for example over here, this is saying 4 to what power would get you 16? Well, 4 times 4 is 16, so the answer would be 2. So 4 to the second power gets you 16. Okay, so if we had this problem here, this is saying 3 to what power is 27? Well, since 3 times 3 is 9, and then another 3 would make 27. So the answer to this would be 3. Okay? So that's what you do when you see LOG. Um, so if we go back to um, what we wrote from the last video here, it says that B has to be greater than 0. So that means the little number that goes here, if it represents a base, has to be greater than zero. So whatever this number is here has to be greater than zero and it can't be one. So this number right here can never be one. So let's think about why that is. If this is a one, one to what power would get us four? Well, first of all, that's not possible because when one is the base, it always will equal 1. 1 to any power is always 1. So that's why we don't want the base to be 1. Okay. So let's go ahead and go back to where we were from the last video. We left off at number 13. Um, so again, some of these are a little bit easier, like these two problems, um, where the answers were positive. Sometimes we have to think about other types of exponents that are out there other than positives. Um, so if we take a look at number 13, for instance, this is saying 3 to what power would make 1 over 27? Well, we just saw here that 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. We want it to make 1 over 27. So you need to know when you have a negative exponent, so since 3 times 3 times 3 is 27, in order to flip it and put it in the denominator, we need a negative exponent. So there's three of them needed, and it has to be a negative exponent here in order for it to flip and make it 1 over 27. And then again, we can check it. So if we make the circle, 3 to the negative third power should equal 1 over 27. So let's check it. 3 to the negative third power, and then we could change it to a fraction since it's in fraction form, and it is 1 over 27. Okay, let's check this one here. 1 half to what power is equal to 4? So 1 half to what power is equal to 4? So first of all, if we do 1 half times 1 half, so if the exponent was 2, that would make 1 fourth. 1 times 1 is 1, 2 times 2 is 4. Well, it needs to be 4, so if we flip this, then it would be 4. So we would need our exponent to be negative 2. Okay, let's go ahead and try another one, number 15. So this is saying 5 to what power is 125? 5 to what power is 125? So again, if we try without a calculator, 5 times 5 is 25. And then if we uh, um, multiply another 5, 25 times 5 would make 125. So you would need three of them. So 
So the answer to number 15 is 3. Okay, let's try another one here. So 2 to what power is radical 2? Well, what exponent would you need to make it a radical? So remember, we learned in Chapter 8, it's inside. There is no exponent, so we can put a 1, and then outside. So we can write this as 1 half. So if we check this, 2 raised to the 1 half power. Okay, so if the exponent's 1 half, let's see if we get this. So if I would put that in my calculator, we would get 1.414. And then if I put the square root of 2 in the calculator, we get 1.414, etc. We get the same value. So the exponent is 1 half. So remember, we could have 0 as an exponent, positives, fractions, negatives. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at this one. This is saying 5 to what power is negative 25? 5 to what power is negative 25? So 5 to the second power, that wouldn't work, that's 25. 5 to the negative second power, that wouldn't work, right? That's a decimal, that's 1 um, 25th. So negatives don't work, positive doesn't work, 0 doesn't work, that just makes 1. If we use fractions as an exponent, um, that's not going to work. It's a decimal number. So this is not possible. There is no exponent that ever gives us a negative output. So we would write undefined. Because it's not possible. All right, let's look at number 18. Um, so when we took our notes in the last video, we said that if there is no base, it is a 10. So since this one doesn't have the little number down here, it's a 10. So this is saying LOG means find the exponent 10 to what power is 0 0.01. Now, for some of you, this could be confusing to have a decimal here. Well, you've learned in previous math classes how to change a decimal to a fraction, and if you've forgotten, you could always use your calculator and say, what is 0.01, and tell it to change it to a fraction form. Well, it's 1 hundredth. Now, I don't need a calculator for that, because, again, I know how to change a decimal to a fraction. So to review how to do that, there are two numbers after the decimal. So that means to write it as a fraction, since there's two numbers after the decimal, I need two zeros. So however, number, n however many numbers after the decimal, that's how many zeros I need to put with the 1. And then this number, so 0, 1, so just 1, would go on the top. So 0, 1 is just 1. So for me, this is easier to see. So instead of having the decimal, I'd like to look at the fraction personally. So then I can think of, well, 10 times 10 is 100. And then what would flip it to the bottom would be a negative exponent. So that's how I know the answer is negative 2. So then I'm going to check it. I'm going to make the circle thing. Does 10 to the negative second power equal 0 0.01? Yes. Okay, let's go ahead and try another one. Notice the base number is not there, so we know it's a 10. So it's saying 10 to what power is 1,000? Okay, so from previous math classes, we should know um, that when we multiply 10 times 10, that that's 100. So there's two zeros, two zeros. So if we were doing um, 10 times 10 times 10, there's one, two, three zeros, so we would need three zeros here. So 10 to the third power would give us a thousand. So that's how come the answer is three here. Okay, we have one last one here. So this is saying three to what power is 243? Okay, so let's try. Three times three is nine. 3 times 3 is 9, and then that would make 81. 
So we need more than four of them. So then I'm going to try another one. So 81 times 3 would be 243. So I needed a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 threes to be multiplied. So that's how I know my answer is 5. And then I can check it again. 3 to the fifth power equals this number there. Okay, so again, just to recap one more time, when you see LOG, your brain should say, find the exponent. So whatever um, this little number, it's raised below. So when you, again, when you write it, it's like lowered. So let's say like that. And then this number is written larger. That's how they write it. Um, so again, when you see LOG, it means find the exponent. What exponent is needed here to make this number here? So in this case, it would be 4. This one here, this is saying 3 to what exponent would make 9? And that would be 2. So again, don't let logs scare you or make you feel confused. Just tell yourself when you see LOG, it means I'm finding the exponent for this number that's written down below here.